Hello everyone, it's Renina here and welcome back to Luna the Shadow Dust. We are here in this beautiful room. Feels it a big piano or is it something else? It, it looks kind of weird. So let's find out what we can do. Um, so yeah, let's let's li read the shit music first, I think, because I don't think we can play the piano. Hmm. So... Let's try to see what I'm switching from my... Oh, my companion can... Can you... Get somewhere? I mean, this is... Zero, one, two, three, four, five, and six dots. Hmm. Can we crank this? Alright, I think that's what we have to play. Uh, hello? My, my companion doesn't do anything. Does this represent any of the- Yes, this represents this bird. Like this one over here. And this one. Anything else you can do? I don't think so. No. Hmm. Which one was the first one? Because. I think this one. Alright, so let's get this on this bird over here. Which you are not. Um, yes, you are. And then switch off to my companion and get my companion on the first spot. Uh, can you get off? Like Companion. Uh, there. And uh, can you get on the first spot here? Mm. This doesn't really work. Let's try again. Um, can you maybe jump on here? Oh, there are two of them. All right, so I have suddenly, uh, you know what? Let's pop one of my companions on here and switch to the other one. Hmm, are, are they marked? Can I get to you? Can you... Alright, so we did something wrong. We did something wrong. Let's get you out of the way. Is this my original companion? Because... I am not entirely sure. Alright, which is my original companion? I think you are not. So, let's put you on here. At least I cannot remember my companion to have these stripes. Um, let's... Can you do this again? And let's go to here. He is probably my companion. Shoot. Um. No. My companion is in there. Uh, can you try to do this again and see what happens? Hmm. 
know what? Let's try to find out who's the first. I think... Alright, so first we have to haunt one and then like the triangle. So let's go all the way back to the haunt one. The triangle. Alright, so you. Get on here. Alright, so... You. Then... We are going to the triangle. Because you're second. Well, let's call it a triangle because it's the most... Alright, there we go. So you get on here. So you're second. And let's try again to find out who's third or fourth. So, it's the one with the hair on top. And then the close one, right? Let's check one more time just to be sure. So yeah, it's the one with the, the, the pointy nose. Like the round one with the pointy nose and the fluffy bit on top. And then it's the closed one. So, let's get to work and get to the... Uh, oh, but the looks of it are in order of how they are organized on the wall. So, one further and we should have the right one. This looks indeed like a round one with pointy nose and some fluff on top. So, you my friend, go on here. Then we've got the... Closed one again, or well, not again, like for the first time. The wound one, the one with the ponytail. The one that's in the part, and the closed one. Alright, so you get on here. Alright, so let's put you on here, and then let's select our boy again and see. What is the fifth and sixth one? So, downward looking guy, upward looking guy, closed one. So, you on here again. So we should receive downward looking guy or you go on here. Then you should go to find upward looking guy. And that's you. So get on here again. And after this is done, we just have to find a closed one. So, let's do this again. Select you. And this should be the last one. And then we've got all our little, like, companions sorted out. I, I, I'd rather not call it a cat because it's not really a cat. And.
Wow. That's amazing. So we got the next achievement, group performance, which indeed it was. We couldn't have done this without the other... Let's call them cats. They look like cats, don't they? A bit of a fat cat, but that shouldn't be a problem. <laughs> so up until the next floor, I think that was my favorite puzzle so far. I really do think that it's my favorite puzzle so far. Ooh, this looks like a kind of creepy room. So, let's start off with you, because I think you kind of have to jump on top of there. Hmm. Like, let, let, let's pull the string over here, because this seems like a le lever, and I do hope my light is coming down. Oh, well, it, it came down. It came down... Crashing. Alrighty. So, what's next? Um. But wait a second. That's kind of weird that my cat's shadow doesn't appear on there. What can you do? Think anything else you can do? Anything else we can jump on? So you think if you step on that, it will f break? Hmm. Now it's locked, and we cannot really pull the string again. Hmm. There's nothing really what I can do. Let's, let's go back to, back to our cat, because that seems like the best bet we've got so far. Hmm. Can I move this? Uh, let's, let's get our cat a bit out of the way. Hmm. Can you jump on top of these? No. You cannot. Anything you can do? Oh. You can also not interact anymore with the... Um, with Lantern. So I think the cat has to get on here. But I don't know what to do with it. Oh! That's weird. Alright. Um, can I get jump the distance? So what happens? Okay, my cat has to get up here. Oh! Alright, so it doesn't like to be touched by thorns. No props, no props. So, let's get on here. This one on one's head. Let's get on here. Then you have to be closed. Let's try it again. Um, no. You stand a bit close by. It's so interesting that I have to actually play with shadows. Hmm. Alright, so we can actually go a bit further. Um, probably have to send let my companion... Mm. 
Let's close this one, all right. And this opens the door. That was such an interesting puzzle. I would have never thought to be looking through the shadows to see what I could do with, with, with the environment. All right, so next, let's go to the next floor then. <laughs> the puzzles get even more interesting the more I go up the tower. Aren't they afraid of heights? Oh my goodness. Oh, poor boy. Probably isn't something he signed up for. And it the tower isn't looking quite as stable. So the boy's gone. What? That's so weird. No way. Alright, so we only got the companion left, so let's see what the next rooms upcoming rooms will bring and see whether we can solve them ourselves or whether we actually need the boy. So we first go into the smaller room. It's fine. So where are we? Alright, so there's a closed door over here and an open one over there. So let's first go... ...over to our right and see what's in here. Hmm. Oh, poor creature. All right, so so that stopped everything. Let's uh, get off here again and let it turn for a moment because I see those platforms in here so I probably have to jump the platforms. Hmm. No, I don't think so that that's the one. Let's start this one. It's right above our bed so if we jump high enough. really go anywhere, can I? So, probably not that one. Hmm. I think we had to have that one, to be honest.
That's interesting to be honest. All right, this should do. Onto the bed, like jump, jump. There's no idea how I activate this again. And go there. And go up here. And scare the mouse away. Oh, and then I should probably get over to this window here. Don't I? No, I probably want to go up. So, let's get down here. Probably want to get up to that window. And I don't think I will be able to do that. This way. So, let's activate the bell again. There, I think. Mm, let's con let, let this continue and see what we can make of it. I think we have to have that one. Alright, let's try again. Jump on here. Then up there. Up here. And then I should be able to jump you. And get in there. I was right! Oh, I love the way the shadows work in this game. It's indeed very dark in here. I don't see a thing. Which probably will bring us to the next room. Oh, we're over there. Alright. Not a problem. Oh boy. Wait, what? Was dropped from the sky in the desert. Looks like the, the, the more grown up version of the companion we have. With the same wispy bits on its head and the same. Is it the same creature? Or a similar creature? Because it's also got the stripes on its face and those floppy ears. So it seems like the people of our companion. Raised us. Aww. And they 
of them seem to just stick before. Like the eye wedged one. When we were pressing apples for apple juice. Oh, please don't tell me he left him. Be still alive. Is he? Oh, poor boy. Oh, wow. So the boy is free, but we're actually stuck, as, as in... The companion is stuck inside the evil bubble. I think? I don't know. The land is tainted with Eevee as well. Oh, shoot. Dead to end dark fast. Mm. Oh. I couldn't save them. Well, at least he's. By the look of determination in his eyes. I think he's going to try it. I think he's going to try to save them. Alright, so we've got the achievement childhood memory. But for now, guys, I think I am going to take a small break. If you guys enjoyed this episode, don't forget to like, subscribe, and ring the notification bell if you want to get notified every time I post a new video. If you got tips and tricks here for Luna, the Shadow Dust, or suggestions for other games I should be checking out, leave them in the comment section down below. Have an awesome day, and I see you guys next time.